folks, welcome to the channel and another Truck King news update. Well, we might as well rename this Heavy Duty Pickup Truck Week because we're gonna get new HDs from all the brands this week and right now we're starting with Chevrolet. Chevy just unveiled the 2024 Silverado HD and there's a lot to talk about. An updated diesel, an upcoming ZR2 model and we're gonna get into all of that stuff right now. start by talking about that updated diesel engine. So it's a 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel. This is a turbocharged V8 and it now makes 470 horsepower and 975 pound feet of torque. And that is all sent through a standard 10 speed automatic transmission. Now on top of the bigger numbers, Chevy also says that they enhanced the low end torque by up to 25% on the diesel engine, so you're going to get more of that power available lower in the rev range. Now there is still an available 6.6 .6 liter V8 gasoline engine, and the power numbers for it don't change. It still makes 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque, but that is also now paired with that 10-speed automatic. So Silverado HD is now 10-speed auto across the entire lineup. There have been improvements in towing for 2024, but they mostly come in the form of technology. When you look at the numbers, they didn't change. So that means that a max tow package Silverado, that's gonna be a base model with the eight foot bed, dual rear wheels. You can tow up to 36,000 pounds on the gooseneck, which is a huge amount of weight. And Chevy came straight out and said, look, we, didn't, we don't need to go higher than that. If you're going to go higher than that, you should probably consider a medium duty truck. Now, if you look at the tow charts, most of the kind of heart of the market trucks, those being crew cab models with shorter beds, well, they're going to tow anywhere from sort of 18,000 up to 25,000 pounds. And then when you're talking about the bumper, the Silverado HD maxes out at 20,000 pounds off the conventional hitch. But again, those numbers are big and I'm happy to see Chevy isn't totally playing the numbers game here, trying to push up that max tow rating, because that's all it is at the end of the day, is a big number that barely anyone actually uses. The heart of the market is towing in that sort of 15,000 to 25,000 pound range, and 25 even on the high end. So yeah, I think Chevy addressed the needs of its customers with technology, and let's take a look at that now. So Chevy has added adaptive cruise with a trailer. This is actually going to take into account the weight on the truck and increase the following distance and it'll break a little bit earlier like a human towing a trailer should. Um, they have new transparent trailer 4HDs. Now this has specifically been designed now to work with gooseneck and fifth wheel trailers. The distance between the cameras there is obviously quite different. So they had to go back to the drawing board and make sure it works with those more common trailers for these big trucks. Now, they've also added trailer side blind zone alert. This extends the blind zone area all the way down to the end of your trailer and a little bit beyond. So when you're changing lanes, the truck will be able to detect a car sitting right there Finally, they've also added the gross combined weight alert. So using the engine acceleration and transmission, the truck will be able to calculate if you're overweight and if you are, it will let you know. Now besides that, there are 14 cameras now on the Silverado HD so you can see all the way around. So like I said, Chevy wasn't chasing a big number here. They added a whole bunch of technology though to try to make towing safer. You've already seen the truck, but just looking at the styling, there is a new front fascia, a new grille, the headlights have been pushed right out to the corners. I think it's still a bit of a polarizing look, so why don't you let me know in the comments, do you like this new style? Now let me address the ZR2, or ZR2. Chevy basically said, hey, it's coming, and then they told us nothing about it. So if you follow the formula from the smaller trucks, it's gonna be front and rear lockers, suspension by Multimatic, um, and then beyond that, I don't know how it's gonna work for an HD. It's gonna be interesting to see, but 
GMC has already had the AT4 in this space, which I think has done well. Of course, you have the Ford Tremor. The Ram Power Wagon has been around for a long time. So Chevy was kind of lacking in the HD off-road space. And now they're jumping in with ZR2. And of course, as soon as I have more details, we will share them with you because it's pretty exciting to see these big off-road trucks all be available at the same time. Now let's take a look inside the new Silverado because once again the interior is entirely overhauled. And if you've seen here on our channel any of the reviews on the new Silverado or Sierra, you're going to notice that they basically took the half ton interior and now they've brought it up to the HDs. And that's a good thing because it is a nice looking interior. Now the refreshed interior is going to come to LT and above. If you go for a custom or a work truck, it's actually still going to have the existing interior. So that is one thing to note. But you can see it here. This new interior looks really nice. In the middle, you're getting a 13.4 inch diagonal infotainment display. Right in front of you, a 12.3 inch driver information cluster. And this truck now has a nice head up display too on the windshield to get all of your information to you. There's now authentic leather wrapped surfaces all over the place. You can see them here. There's things like wireless cell phone charging. There's 10 total cup holders, depending on which model you get. New audio control knobs, which have been redesigned to look a little bit nicer. There's climate vents and controls for second row passengers. And there's even enhanced hidden storage, including in the console, upper and lower glove boxes, and even a sunglass holder behind the infotainment screen. So Chevy spent a lot of time on utility in that in interior, but also just time making it look nice. You can see the high country interior here with all that real open pour wood. I think they've done a nice job here with this HD. Production on this updated heavy duty is going to begin in the first half of 2023. And that's also when we can expect to see these trucks rolling down the road. Now they will be built in both Flint, Michigan and in Oshawa, Ontario. So both of those plants will start pumping them out early next year. Now, I've also got some other exciting news to leave you with. Dad and I are headed down to the Texas State Fair in just a couple of days. And that's actually why it's Heavy Duty Truck Week because Chevy, Ford, and Ram, they're all gonna reveal their trucks and then take them to the Texas State Fair. So we're gonna be there in person Look for a follow-up video on this one where we're actually with the new Silverado HD. We can touch and poke and look around ourselves and we will let you know what we think. But for now, that is it for this video. So please go below into the comments. Let me know what you think of the truck. Let me know if you have any specific questions for the engineers at, at Chevrolet because we're gonna be with them coming up later this week and we can ask those questions. As always, while you're down below, please hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member of the channel and then come right back here to Truck King to see Dad and I live from the Texas State Fair looking at all the new heavy duty trucks. See you guys.